Namaskara. Today I came to S. G. Vasudev sir's uh, studio. S. G. Vasudev sir is one of the most prominent and respected artists in Karnataka. He is associated with the co Government College of Arts, Chennai, and uh, Chol Mandal Arts Village. He has won several awards, and he is associated with uh, Art Park and uh, Ananya Drishya. And uh, has spent a lot of time with him, sharing his journey, uh, his art journey, his career, and his uh, association with his contemporaries and uh, furniture. So, I'd like to share as he was this as journey to the viewers. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Namaste, Andy. Namaste. Namaskara. Uh, Vanakkam, sir. Channa kidra, sir. Okay, so I did. Who tried that, sir? Uh, Nash tried it. Acha. As he was there, sir, you know, he is one of the most prominent artists in Karnataka. He is associated with the Ch Chola Mandalam and uh, Madras Government School. He, I wanted to uh, travel with him through, through his journey, art journey. Sir, um, uh, how did you choose the art uh, as a career? Like, uh, how did you join the art course? See, my mother was a painter yeah. and I met her painter. Yeah. And she got the Dasara Exhibition Award when she was about 11 or 12. At that time, my grandfather didn't uh, think of sending her to an art school. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> I was born into the, that family. And I was born in Mysore with, with my mother's place and uh, brought up in Bangalore. Okay. But, uh, you know, it took some time for me to convince my parents yeah. that I can take to art. Yeah. It was only when... Uh, late 50s, I met uh, the first time art historian okay. called G. Venkatachalam okay. and uh, who used to come to Bangalore from Delhi oh. and then he saw some of my drawings and said you must join an art school and so then I said how to convince my parents sir. Yeah. He said I will talk to them. Okay. Anyway, he talked to them and also he gave me a letter to Panikkar, KCS Panikkar okay. who had become the principal of the College of Arts in Chennai. School of Arts at that time. Yeah. And uh, so I went to Chennai. I gave this letter to Panikkar. He said, I'm not bothered about the letter. I want to see how you fare in the exam. Yeah. So he wanted me to go through the test. And I passed in the test. That's how I joined the College of Arts Chennai. Okay. And for me, it was almost like a heaven. Hmm. Because I studied in Bangalore in the normal colleges here did my science and things like that and it was very difficult uh, you know there was no there was no proper co-education or anything in chennai it was not like that it was a co-education oh. and uh, freedom was given to every artist whatever he wanted to do he could do okay as your mother is an artist and uh, your grandfather is also sculptor a traditional sculptor and uh, artist. my my mother's grandfather mother's grandfather so inherently you have uh, art yeah, in your must, in have, your, must have yeah. must have got. so you were exposed in your childhood uh, to the art uh, well i was exposed to uh, my mother's art mainly and my great grandfather's i have not seen okay excepting some of his uh, you know, whatever he had painted in what we call Kage Bangara, oh. something like that. And, uh, but uh, my, my mother used to create, you know, similar things like what he was, what he used to create, oh. like Mysuru Dasara Palace exhibition and then uh, uh, processions and everything. So everything was created during our uh, uh, Dasara time. My mother used to create it. So I was interested in all those things. So your mother is an inspiration for you to take a part? Uh, well, to a certain extent, yes. Because you didn't like the science course and you wanted to go uh, and study arts. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I was never interested in science. Unfortunately, I had to do it because after I finished my intermediate course at that time, there was no PUC, okay. intermediate course. And after I finished that, my father said, uh, at least you can join and help me. And like he was an agriculturist okay. and he had studied agriculture in, uh, in a Bangalore, uh, in, in, you know, College of Agriculture. Okay. So he took me there oh. and then uh, the principal there, they said, sir, now with the marks he has got, he has no chance. Oh. So I thought maybe I can join the art school. Mm. But no, but my, somebody was advised my parents 
that let him join BSc and then he can always decide later on. Oh. So I had to join BSc, okay. National College. Oh. And uh, it was a torture for me because oh. I was not interested in any of the subjects. Yeah. But then I had to go through that. But I took to cartooning, oh. caricature okay. at that time. Oh. I was uh, inspired by David Lowe and uh, R.K. Lakshman. Okay. And so I did some caricatures and I had done one caricature before of uh, uh, one of the very famous uh, actor, uh, you know, uh, Hardy, Laurel yeah, and Hardy yeah, combination. Yeah. Hardy when he died, oh. I did a caricature of his and sent it to one of the leading Kannada papers. Okay. And uh, that was published on a weekend. Oh, very that, nice. That opened up my oh. idea of that I can do caricature and carry on. Okay. So I met the editor and uh, uh, so it was very interesting. Okay. Then fortunately this art, art, art historian yeah. helped me yeah. to join an art school. Yeah. Uh, even uh, women used to join in arts that time? Yeah, yeah. There were not many. Okay. But some of them who were dis- were really interested in art, okay. they would join. Oh. Some of them were from uh, even outsta- outstation, like T.K. Padmini, okay. who is known artist from oh. Kerala. Okay. She is no more, but she she also joined, joined. the College of Art okay. at the okay. same time. Okay. And there was Rani Najapa, Arnavas Driver, then uh, Sunanda Gupta, Anila Jacob, like that, you know. Okay, few were there, few women were there. And one of them was your uh, junior and... Oh, yeah, she... Arnavas, yeah, Arnavas was a Parsi girl. Yeah. She studied in uh, Chennai. Okay. And uh, I met her when she was junior to me in the college, two years junior. Okay. And later on our friendship developed. Yeah. And then we, we became critic, mm. each, each are criticizing others' work. Okay. And then we got married in 1971. Okay. So how was your association with uh, Fanikar sir, sir? How was his, his teaching and uh, how is the teaching style in uh, Madras school? School, really speaking, if you say there was no teaching at all. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a relationship between teacher and student. Okay. And then, you know, each class, people would be going on doing their painting. Okay. The teachers. And uh, we would see their work, how it goes on, and learn a lot from that. Okay. And then if there is any uh, questions one had with, with one's own painting, one would go and discuss that with the teacher. Okay. The teacher would always... Working in the classroom, teachers classroom, were working. Classroom. Oh, And then nice. uh, teacher would say the positive things only about the painting. Oh, great. No negative things. Okay, no criticism. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one, re, one, one uh, thing which is uh, very helpful for many students, I think. Yeah, it's very encouraging. Very encouraging. Okay. And so, Panikar had given a lot of freedom to us and we could, uh, uh, he once even told uh, some group of people that my best students are in the canteen. Yeah. <laughs> and then we used to be in the canteen. Okay. And discussing and things like that. And okay. But whenever there was a test or exam, uh, results, mm. I mean, we had to submit. Mm. We would submit any number of works. Okay. That was something which he also felt yeah. that it's a good thing that uh, students should be encouraged. And also there was a craft section in our college. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's called, called, called School of Arts and Crafts. Until uh, Rai Chaudhary, Devi Prasad Rai Chaudhary, yeah. a very well-known sculptor yes, and sir. painter, who yes, was appointed as principal of the Madras College, Madras School of Arts. Till that time, it was only crafts okay, there yeah. in the college. So he he, he brought in art. Panikar sir brought art. Right? Panikar brought more more contemporary, yeah, okay. but Chaudhary brought art department. Okay, art department. And uh, then it was a. Uh, uh, so, he allowed us to walk into any craft section, okay. Panikar, and do whatever crafts he wanted to do, okay. and then learn and do things. Okay. But though one had not taken them, those things as a subject for examination, that was a... So, I had done ceramic and uh, enamel Marking. work, all those things, much before uh, by before my degree okay. course. Okay. So those days, how did you get information about European art? What's happening around in the world? 
see there were uh, in the college of art didn't have any art uh, history department okay so one had to sort of uh, go to go to uh, british council or american consulate okay. to get books oh and college of art had a good library okay but it was not pro- properly used by many people oh. but anyway uh, one would expose oneself to all these things through magazines and books and then uh, max miller bowen uh, used to have very good uh, department of uh, uh, films okay an artist okay and so we used to get those films oh. and expose that okay but panikar encouraged everything mm. but i don't know why there was no department of art history oh, that was one was thing which is i feel it's very bit bit of a hmm. problem and a bit lacking okay. for for chennai history was not a subject for you no okay it was not a subject okay. and uh, there was there was one teacher who used to come uh, particularly when we when after our time hmm. some junior classes okay. they used to come and teach oh. but then it was not for exams okay But you are aware of what's happening in Europe and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of Max Müller, yeah, yeah, Bowen, yeah. and Max all. Yeah, Max Müller, Bowen, and British Council. Okay. American Consulate, all these things. Okay. Who was your inspiring artist? Quite a few. Okay. Quite a few. Not one. Hmm. Modigliani is one. Okay. Rothko is another. Rothko is an abstract painter. Modigliani is a figurative painter. Yeah. And uh, uh, Picasso. Yeah. But amongst the Indian artists. Yeah. I was inspired by Francis Newton Souza. Yeah, Francis Souza. Yeah. Souza was a very inspirational yeah. artist. Yeah. And uh, what I did was uh, while I was a student mm. in the college, he had a show in Bombay. Oh, yeah. So I went to Bombay to see his show oh, to meet him. Okay. And met him and he was service. He was so inspire inspiring artist and mem personality also. Oh. Very good personality. Yeah. And, uh, so lucky to meet him. Yeah, and meet him, and then I saw his works, talked to him, and then uh, the very next time when I went, when I was going to Bombay, I had to go for a scholarship interview, and I had taken some of my works. That was about three years later. Okay. Three four years later, he had come again for an exhibition oh. to Jahangir Art Gallery. Oh. And he saw some of my work. He said, "Where is my inspiration on you? Oh. There's no inspiration, <laughs> sir." I have to digest your inspiration. He takes time because you know inspiration can be there for one or two years. Yeah. But then you have to digest it. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, you will you will fall into that uh, influence. Pattern. Yeah. You tell me. So which one one didn't want to? Yeah. And I I understood his method of methodology, his way of working, everything. Okay. And I created some paintings at that time. Hmm. Even signature of. Souza oh. influenced me, and I my I signed my things like Souza's. Oh, but uh, but I I gave up all those things. Okay, later. okay, <laughs> that's great. So after completing uh, this art studies, it's a four years course, sir. Uh, in it Madras. is a six years course. Six years course. So so Western style of painting also used to learn realism and uh, portrait yeah, yeah, painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were see every day we had three hours of. Uh, portrait and full figure painting or drawing okay every day oh. all the six years oh my god so drawing <coughs> skill of drawing is very important in our art school okay everybody had to learn the skill yeah whatever skill they wanted to learn okay. they would learn it oh and uh, some of them are excellent like k m adimulam yeah was my classmate okay. he was fantastic in his figurative things oh and uh, each one developed their own way of figuration Yeah, and uh, Panikkar encouraged that. Yeah, each one's way of indi- individuality. He yeah. respected individuality and uh, did those things. Okay, and uh, how about uh, this uh, Chola Mandala Arts Village? You see, in 1962 or 63, uh, Panikkar called few of us, and he knew ours was the best group. Okay, I think. So he found that uh, the people who joined in 1960, uh-huh. I mean our group, okay. was the best group to talk to. Oh. And then he addressed us and said, "What are you going to do after college?" 
So some of us said, "Would you take up jobs, sir?" Mm. Said, "No, job is not a good for artist." Yeah. And uh, I have gone through that uh, stage myself, and I have suffered a lot. Taking job in the art school is a good thing. Yeah, but at the same time. time, you don't find enough time to paint. Yeah. So he said, uh, "It's better to find some other uh, solution." And in any case, uh, I think craft in India is important, yeah. and. Uh, you can perhaps uh, take to batik yeah as the nearest craft okay which goes well near the painting yeah nearest to painting and so so we learned some of us learned batik in the college okay then uh, did some batik work uh, studios provided by the state academy okay and uh, then we had a show in 1964 i think okay of a big show of uh, batik work like dress materials wall hangings okay. sarees all those sort of mostly material. cottons you have used they have used no, cotton no, no, silk and cotton silk. both okay both mm. and uh, then it was a big success yeah almost 80% of the works were we sold great that gave us idea that we should have a place of our own yeah then we formed an association called artists handicrafts association okay and bought 10 acres of land oh. under the association's name okay we all contributed whatever we could oh nice and made a blueprint of the whole uh, space okay and you know earlier it was only to work oh. but later on we thought we should also not only to work but also Stay. to live around okay so that gave us the idea and then we created cholamandal oh the cholamandal also the name we gave it because uh, Cholas were the great connoisseurs of art. Chola dynasty. Chola dynasty. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we didn't want to call any any other political name. Yeah. So we called it Chola Mandal. Yeah. I visited, in fact, ten years back. I went there. I saw all the artists' homes who were there, studios. Yeah. It was very nice. So after that, how how long you stayed in Chola Mandal lot? I was there from 1966. We started Chola Mandal. Okay. And from 1966 to 1989, oh. I lived there. Okay. And uh, 80 in the late 80s, I mean mid 80s, my wife Arnava, she found that she had cancer. Oh yeah. And she survived for four or five years. Okay. Then she passed away oh. in 1988. Okay. And when she passed away, I had I had a son, who was seven year old at that time. Oh. So I wanted him to have a. education in bangalore okay. and also you know the system uh, uh, we we like j krishna murthy yeah so his way of teaching education and the way he schools you know okay uh, brought up and then chennai we had one school called the school okay and so we used, we put our son there yeah. and so i wanted him to study in the similar type of school in bangalore okay and it's called valley school here okay and so he was going to valley school and uh, then i moved to bangalore 1988 89 then uh, i'm bangalorean by birth so i know yeah. what bangalore is and then only thing is that uh, you must be missing that cholamandal atmosphere here in bangalore yeah, yeah it was a different atmosphere altogether yeah but anyway it was a different thing uh, experience um, art is art in bangalore was different from what art we were doing in cholamandal okay and chennai oh. because uh, you know one thing is uh, bangalore has an advantage of not having a very strong traditional school of art okay which we had in chennai yeah so oh. all the students who came out from that say the school of art Mm. they had their the politics of the school economics of the school everything they carried okay style right. yeah. everything and which is not the case in bangalore yeah bangalore had the chitrakala parisha ken school of art and then in uh, uh, in uh, what's called gulbarga uh, they had a, yeah. another school mm. like that and uh, their and then you know 1970 74 75 i think uh uh kk hebba became chairperson of the academy oh. that is kala academy oh. and he said that we should send the school students good students to bang this um, ms university baroda 
at Shanti Niketan for their uh, studies. For the studies. You didn't so, go for uh, further masters, you didn't do? I didn't do. You like to work with the artists and yeah, develop yeah. art there in Chola Mandala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was the response from uh, people around in Chennai? They used to come to the village and interact with yeah, artists yeah. Thing there? Is, the thing is, for them it's a new thing altogether. Yeah. It's almost like a zoo. Yeah. You are all, you know. <laughs> Working atmosphere uh, yeah, and all. Like a zoo. So. But one, one disadvantage we had, in Chennai, even now I feel, okay. is that uh, where drama, dance, music, all encouraged a lot there. Yeah. But when it's visual art, it is not so much. Oh. I wish hmm. a, a Chola Mandal had were in Bangalore or in Hyderabad. Yeah. Or does it matter? Yeah. Could have become, become a big, much bigger thing. Yeah. Anyway, hmm. whatever it is. And but we, it's a great initiative. Yeah, it is a great initiative. Yeah. And then, uh, so we, we didn't have any art galleries. So we had to depend completely on ourselves. Yeah. And uh, somehow or other we managed. So I'll go around your gallery once. Uh, oh. Is this also your work, sir? No, it's somebody else's. My wife collects small works. Oh. These are all her work, okay. collection. You have uh, shows abroad also, sir? Uh, I do. I used to. I had a show in Berlin, oh. in Frankfurt, and Munich, okay. in New York, oh, wonderful, Canada. Sir. Oh. This is that copper work. Sir, come, sir. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. We, we have, we have. In the end, we have the tendency to touch. Yeah. It's a good thing. So, <laughs> yeah, to feel that yeah, yeah, texture. <laughs> Don't mind us. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. Painting one should not touch, but sculpture, I feel you should yeah. feel that uh, texture and all. It's wonderful. I like this one. I saw in some show your interview. This painting I liked a lot. These are the head series. Okay. I've done. And I, what I do is create a texture. Oh. Or from the surface itself, oh. is acrylic. Okay. So the first stage is what you saw in that uh, lamp. lamp yeah, shade. yeah. It's like that white. Okay. And then I use colors. Oh. And then I rub the colors to get the whites again. Oh, here and all that yeah. highlights you. <laughs> you won't find nothing than art. So beautiful. Uh, copper, you know that that's a craft work which I started working on. Hmm. This one, sir? To make, a, to make living in Chola Mandal. Oh. And that led me to do... Oh, copper. That's why you are connected yes. with the copper. Okay. You worked with... This one is the Chola Mandal piece, sir? Yeah, it's a, it's a... One of the, one of the pieces which I have done. Oh, wonderful, sir. It has so much work in... Yeah, you know, yeah. we have to do a lot of... Uh, intricate work is there. Yeah, yeah. My God. Did you face any difficulty in working with this medium? Is no, it tough? No, it's quite tough. It's quite tough because uh, mm. the tech, you know, the first of all, the depth you should have. Mm. Create a depth. Yeah. And then texture, a different mm. texture here, different texture. Yeah, here. I see. Yeah. I so what I have is, uh, I've got iron tools. Okay. Pointed like this. Mm. Pointing like that. Okay. And... Uh, Back side, you have to push it. Yeah. Oh, these yeah. are dents. I can see the dents here. Yeah. Then this one is worked from this side. Oh. A different uh, okay. point. Oh, wonderful. But a lot of energy you have to yeah, use, yeah. right? <laughs> Your hands will also pain. <laughs> At that time, yes. Yeah.